वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ओशन करेंट एंड ग्लोबल सर्फेस विंड सिस्टम क्वेश्चन मार्क एक्सप्लेन विद एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ द जायर इन नदर्न हेमिस्फियर डिफर्स फ्रॉम द वन इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फियर द जायर इन द नदर्न हेमिस्फियर डिफर्स फ्रॉम द वन इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फियर वॉट शुड योर स्टोरी लाइन बी लाइक फर्स्ट इन फैक्ट आई एम वॉचिंग सम स्टूडेंट इन द क्लास हियर I found none of you thinking on a line first. I said, "Write." You started writing. You should have spent at least some time. They go more than the time pressure. You must also ensure that you are writing in the proper direction. So initially, I would have expected to take forty, fifty seconds, one minute if required. A clarity to carry. Look, write. What is it? You shouldn't write down the moment you say start writing. That speed will come once you have written. Maybe. 100 200 answers abhi tak se take your own sweet time if you calculate the amount of time required is essentially 180 minutes divided by 250 marks into 15 it will come to approximately around 11 minutes officially this is the amount of time you should take and i'm saying okay take 12 minutes take 12 13 minutes okay or वैसे भी i will not want ki aap write anything randomly so spend some time thinking on this question this question has two parts to it one is talk about the ocean currents and the winds ka relationship the second part is the northern and the southern gyre may what is the difference a very important point in this answer was do not treat these two as two different short notes ye likh liya short note over then you began this short note this is a logical extension of this so my answer would have been like yes ocean currents or winds are related okay the following are the examples but there are currents where winds are not related there are other factors that determine the currents and not the winds give examples and this is best seen in the northern and the southern gyres part 2 of the question is not an independent part ye alag question thodi hai it is an addition to the first part so once you have discussed the ocean and wind ka relationship okay and the question said that uh, what is the relationship to say yes there is some relationship okay give examples in which case the wind and the current ka relationship is best established name of the current name of the current the equatorial currents to some extent even the polar boundary currents okay the north atlantic drift the west wind drift yahan par good relationship between the winds and the currents theek hai but there are currents jahan par winds can't explain you can't explain winds for the eastern boundary currents and the western boundary currents you can't explain the winds for the polar currents you can't explain the winds for the counter equatorial current you can't explain the winds as the basis of currents of mediterranean and atlantic baltic sea and norwegian sea wahan bata nahi sakte aap plus you can't use winds to explain the thermohaline circulations what's stopping you from there you all know this term right there are deep currents also wahan par winds ka kaam nahi hai okay so winds relationship hai but not everywhere and then probably add one point on the wind relationship to explain eastern and western boundary current is best in terms of ekman spiral then move on towards the next concept okay so ye aapka conversation rahega then say that this relationship and the complex okay interconnections between the factors is best understood in northern and southern gyre ka difference okay now how many of you could think on to write about this in terms of specific oceans northern and southern gyre atlantic ocean northern and southern gyre indian ocean northern and southern gyre pacific ocean what i call as the regional discussion of the phenomena 
if you keep the generic nadan jair and jenis nadan jair most of you in yahi likh ke aa gaye honge do we not example of north and south difference for pacific we have difference of north south difference for atlantic ocean also the north south difference is governed by what most important factor the northern and southern jair ka difference jo hai what decides this the most important factor kya hai coastline orientation and the ocean bottom relief the presence and absence of islands what other thing impacts difference of northern and southern jair that's about the size of the jair okay atlantic ocean jair north wala so difference main kya hai a uh, how is different from the pacific ocean the jair is best visible in the northern atlantic why size is smaller the so size matters the shape of the coastline matters the coastline or along the coast landforms matters ye discussion point tha aapka and the most remarkable difference in north and south is for the pacific ocean why why is the difference best pacific why because southern jair may a very strong peruvian current because of the coastline of western south america agar peru current was not strong perhaps el nino would not have been as developed in the southern pacific so ye jo regional discussion tha important tha many of you would have done in general north in general south and i do not know if you went beyond winds or not i'm asking you what is the relationship i have a great relationship but not everywhere good relationship for one two or three currents but not the rest others other factor matters so there are salinity factors there are factors related to local winds there are factors related to okay your difference of densities and two lines or three lines on ki wind ka relationship is best for the ekman transport mechanism which can explain the wind's impact but not directly and you leave it there so aapka story line kaise banega okay ocean currents many factors winds most important examples ocean currents there are other factors okay give examples winds and ocean currents ka best relationship explained by ekman spiral concept so even if we do not have a north south wind along western and eastern boundary current fir bhi ye jair is because of the wind relationship the ekman transport the why water spiling up together okay the western intensification because the mound is towards the west is a wind ka relationship hai to hai aur kya hai the currents and the wind relationship is best explained in the ekman transport concept or ekman spiral concept plus this also explains why we have western uh, intensification examples kya hai wind relationship mein i said equatorial currents the polar boundary currents okay the currents the reversing currents of the monsoon lands to we'll elaborate here aage karenge elaborate north and south mein the monsoon ke wajah se the reversing currents the examples where winds are not important the polar currents okay the counter equatorial currents you have got wind currents like antilles current sushima current okay irminger current renel current give examples examples where the coastlines is more important we have the currents across mediterranean and atlantic currents across baltic sea and norwegian sea or north sea example bata diya aapne this takes care of the first part of the answer okay isme aap aur add karoge a very important significant part of currents are the deep currents okay these are the thermohaline currents yahan par winds ka almost no role they are related to temperature and the salinity differences of the ocean waters some of you know about water masses you might know about brine rejection as a concept wo sab add karo aap so this and this so question mein ye pucha nahi hai but what stops you from writing this and then you say the above relationship the above relationship 
is best explained okay in the difference of northern and southern gyres across different oceans so one part ja batao atlantic ocean indian ocean and pacific ocean in which case the north south difference is best established in north south difference mein uh, the wind ka effect kahan par best established hai indian ocean okay acha so in a priority what should we write first we should write first about the notion second atlantic and third pacific or first atlantic second pacific third indian ocean kya karoge aap or maybe first second third what what would you ipl indian then pacific then atlantic so my recommendation here is to sabse important point hai pehle likh diya karo because when you have time constraint fir less important chhut jaye chhut jane do this is your smartness so i would suggest that the north south gyre difference is best visible in the indian ocean write about that uske baad aap kya likhte what thing is next more important you would discuss pacific ocean because enso hai wahan par you would miss out enso otherwise so in the answer writing a bahut important point hai because when time constraint happens invariably later part will answer reh jayega you don't want to miss out on that do you so first indian ocean then pacific ocean then come towards atlantic ocean acha now think of the conclusion think of conclusion conclusion i said so applied rakho okay keep it with applied so applied mein ocean currents and the wind relationships they impact fishing zones okay the gyre formation is responsible for okay the pacific garbage patch okay the ocean currents yes and the global warming has modified the atlantic meridional ocean circulations amok okay so some applied as to show that ki currents ke itne sare dimensions hain okay in recent times because of disruptions the wind velocities have changed which has impacted the frequency of el nino and la nina uh, cycles abhi article aaya tha na triple dip of la nina 3 saal continuously la nina hota nahi hai okay is happened because of some disruptions there there is a intimate relationship of the atmosphere with the oceans so as global warming happens the global circulation systems of atmosphere change they impact the circulations and the currents of the ocean also such as in case of the frequency of la nina and enso cycles so your choice but let the answer move towards some conclusion which has an applied dimension see our objective will be to learn the technique of writing and not merely covering more and more and writing more and more wo tum karenge aapka my average speed is about 4 5 questions per class okay wo tum karenge but you must learn the technique so ek hi question pe spend enough time on it theek hai the story line kya bana aapka wind as a factor yes examples wind not as a factor examples okay there are other type of currents koi wind ka koi role nahi hai thermohaline then north south differences first in the indian ocean second pacific third is atlantic ocean conclusion is because all are changing so winds are changing the so currents also change ab aap likho ke answer na your answer will be very smoothly organized otherwise what happens is most of us write as and when the ideas come to our mind okay jaise socho aise likhte rehte ho and then you are struggling ki yaar iske aage mujhe samajh nahi aa raha kya likhunga then you leave it there agar aapne organize kiya hoga you will know Yeah, I can afford to live Atlantic, but I can't afford to live in the ocean.